Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 11th to the 17th of July 2022. So the main event this week is on the 13th, which is Wednesday, when we have the full moon in Capricorn, 21 degrees if you're following along. Find out where that is in your chart, what planets you've got nearby, all making aspects, and what house it's in. And this is at 19.36 UK time. So this chart shows three pairs all acting together. So to break that down, we have, first of all, the Sun at 21 degrees Cancer and Mercury nearby at 17. So the Sun and Mercury in Cancer. When Mercury is involved, messages can come through. So a full moon is a time of reflection and receiving. And with Cancer, that's in our subconscious waters, in our cellular intuition. So our intuition should be heightened. And if we're calm and aware and observant, we feel into our emotional intelligence, then there could be some messages coming through that will be of service. Opposite, we have the moon at 21 degrees Capricorn and Pluto at 27. So to have a full moon in Capricorn is a very deep, and sturdy, stoic aspect anyway. But to have Pluto involved, that speaks of the breaking down of an old system and transmutation, transformation, bringing something new out of the ashes, as Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio, life, death and rebirth. So this promises to be a very transformative full moon, as we're witnessing the breaking down of many external structures at a time when that's necessary. So we're not trying to go back to how things were. We're allowing anything that's outdated, limited or corrupt to fall down making space for new and visionary energies to come through with a sense of fairness for all, bringing in the Aquarian energies. So the third pair are Uranus, which is the ruler of Aquarius, and the North Node, which is where we are as a group, both together in the sign of Taurus, the heart. So this is a really good ally, as we can see that whatever needs to come to the surface, whatever messages come through, whatever starts to show signs of falling down, we've got great help there with the Uranian energies holding a vision for the ideal to replace whatever's leaving. On a transpersonal note, we have the days of the 14th to the 18th of July are always very sacred days in the Egyptian calendar. That was when the Nile flooded and they started their new year. So they're called the dog days because we're aligning with Sirius, the planet, the dog star. So the 14th to the 18th can be times of quite a lot of activity and they hold a certain potency. When we look at world astrology, then England holds a very Capricorn energy, old, established, red brick systems. And America, 4th of July, is very Cancerian energy. So we've got those two countries involved in this chart as well. So there can be quite a lot that goes on politically, geopolitically and in the collective at this time. And I feel that there'll be sudden messages, quite a quick and thick news cycle. And that can be quite distracting, especially if the media gives us the impression that things are falling apart. But with Uranus and the North Node in Taurus saying, yes, but we can do better than this, let it go, there's a new way, then there's a sense of hope and uprising with those heartfelt Aquarian energies as well. So there's a building tension with every full moon. This one's especially deep with Pluto being involved. And the backdrop to this we've spoken of in the past couple of weeks with the Neptune retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Mars going into Taurus. There's all sorts of things happening on other channels. But to look at how you can harness these energies, then, like I say, look at where Capricorn is for you, what house, what planets are interacting. But also have a look at where your own limitations are, if you're relying on external structures, when you could be centering and anchoring in your own core strength and vision. Allow old stories to leave, old programming, old attachments. With the Uranus aspect, always question everything. Find your independent insight, not just go along with the group. And Capricorn is very much what do I stand on and for. So to make our own mind up, to do our research, it's not possible to be sovereign without thinking outside of the box 
and letting go of old programming and restrictive beliefs. So finding our true value and worth, finding our inner strength, letting go of anything that's hindering our growth, feeling with the Cancerian energies and listening with our emotional intelligence with Mercury, because that's where you will find the truth deep within, creating a calm space to be able to receive. So it could be quite a hectic week externally, make some space, allow anything to come up that needs to come up to be released, seek eternal truth, view things through the perception of necessary change at this time, and don't be too attached to anything that's falling away, because that's just going to be making room for much bigger and brighter more appropriate energy to come in. There's not much else going on, fortunately, this week, apart from the aspects that I mentioned with the retrogrades of the outer planets. But these charts affect us all differently depending on where it's activating our own personal birth chart. So if you'd like some help navigating, if you'd like to see where this is applying to you, where you can have your own personal transformation, then I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com for readings, coaching and customized lessons as this is a really great time to learn astrology and tarot and to start to use these ancient and valuable tools for yourself i post on my facebook page astrozo instagram zoe hind seven and these videos and more are on my youtube channel zoe astro so go slow go deep appreciate the capricorn strength tune into your own inner strength Make some room to expand into and let anything go that's ready to drop away. Trust your intuition and stay aware to receive guidance and useful messages. And hold a vision of how you'd like things to be. As the more people that do that, the more we'll be getting rid of giving our energy to old outdated structures. We'll be springing up and creating a sense of unity and a way forwards together. So those are the horoscopes this week, and I'll see you next week.